you know, we just like helping people. I know that's the common thing that firefighters tell you. We, oh, we want to help somebody. And it is a lot about that, but it's, a, it's about the, you know, the fire department's a second family, and we're all, you know, pretty close. And we're about like brothers and sisters, so we get mad and we argue, and, you know, and then we pull back together. Um, you know, you hear about the brotherhood, and it's all a, it's a unique bond that, that the fire department, fire service people share between each other. But we're expecting tones during this, the daytime. And when you get off, we kind of, we're on call, we come back as needed. We're, you know, we're not volunteering anymore, but it's still kind of that volunteer feeling, you know, at home and the pager goes off. And, and it, you know, it does cause an adrenaline rush, especially when you get on scene if you do have a working fire and know that you're going to be either on a nozzle or doing some part of that, you know, passing through that threshold. fire out the roof, I mean, it was just going. And you got people running away from the house, and then you got all of us running to the house. And it's just, it's just pretty cool, I think. To me, the heroes are the ones that, that you know, they give up their life trying to fight fire, trying to save somebody's life. Of someone that, that has lost everything that they own, everything they have ever worked for, and they've lost every bit of it. And know that there ain't nothing else we could do other than just hit the hot spots. We've done what we could. We couldn't save very much. Family Bible, maybe a couple of pictures. But for them to come up and say thank you, that, that, that means a lot. <laughs> 